He's a concert promoter, former owner of the New Daisy Theater in Memphis, Tennessee, and a former boxing promoter. Uh, he has known a ton of people across the board, whether it's in sports or in uh, music, etc. We lost John Prine yesterday. Uh, obviously, I was a massive John Prine fan. You're not going to find a lot of people like him. Incredible songwriter, uh, just an absolute legend. Uh, Mike, let's let's go ahead and get started with that. Let do you have any memories? I know you were talking to me last night. Uh, you know, we were texting back and forth. I was out on the back porch, smoking a cigar, uh, drinking some Johnny Walker, and listening to old John Prine records. Uh, you said that you had a memory from like 1991 when he played for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did John Prine a couple of times, but 1991 is. I want to say it was the first time we did him at the New Days. He was actually. I broke my own rule and, and booked somebody I liked instead of uh, <laughs> using the, the old way of uh, you know, book what's, what's popular. And, you know, with John Prine, who knew? You know, it, 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 it was a huge deal. It was a huge night for, for, for me, but it was it was a big thrill to have him play my play. But um, it, was on, it was a Sunday night, and, 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 and I used to do a monthly boxing show the you know, first Tuesday of every month. And I had a show that Tuesday with boxing, and I had a the former super middleweight champion, Don Lalonde, was fighting the main event. Um, he had gotten beat earlier in the year uh, by Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, which was kind of a I don't know if he ever if he's ever witnessed that fight, but uh, he got hit in the throat, and that was uh, pretty painful. Oh, I can imagine. And, at any rate, uh, he couldn't finish the fight, even though Lalonde's a much better fighter than what he showed. But he, you know, he, he called me up. He, he married a girl from uh, the University of Memphis that lived out in Carrierville. That's how he and you know, I became friends, I guess you could say, or, or associates. And he was needing to have a couple of fights, tune-up fights, before he had a chance to fight for a title. They called me up uh, that week, and he said, "You got John Prime playing there too Sunday night." I said, "Yeah." And he says, "Is there any way uh, you can uh, let me come down and uh, introduce him to the crowd?" And I said, "Oh, absolutely." How do you know John Prime? He said, oh, "I met him on a train in Canada." That's where John. That's, that's where Donnie Lalonde is from. Is Canada? And uh, at any rate, uh, he came down and uh, uh, brought him out, and it was and, and paid for his own tickets. A match. He's on the guest list. Bought six tickets. God bless. Him. <laughs> you gotta love but that. But that was uh, that was kind of a big I because mean, uh, John Prime was not a real tall man, and, and, and down in the line was was over was, was well well close to six feet plus, and uh, uh, but uh, a well spoken individual, a real nice guy. But uh, and, and John Prime, put I, I've never seen him put on a bad show. Um, you know, the rumor mill had it in the last six months that he'd been sick. I was fortunate enough to see him in Somerset, Kentucky. At a festival two years ago, at my in my girl's hometown, they did this thing in July called the Masters Musician Festival, and it's it's over and dated with a bunch of regional acts that I've never heard of, and it's one of the finest festivals uh, I've ever been to. I, I I I go to it. I try to go to it every year. I haven't been able to the last couple of years, taking care of my mom. But uh, uh, that was the last one I went to, and then Prime put on. He had a full band with him, and he put on one L on the show. And um, I, I'm still very fortunate. I got, I, I got to see him that one last time. He, uh, he always has put on a, a really interesting show. He's an incredible storyteller. I only saw him once. He's in a, he's, let, let me tell you something. He's an interesting guy. I, I, I remember before sound check, Mikey was, my son was about, uh, I guess he was four or five. Uh, and he was down there with me that day, and I was backstage with Prime, seeing if there was anything he wanted. He said, yeah, no, I need you know, some coffee. So at that time, I still had the place next door, and we had a kitchen in the middle. I cooked some coffee up, and I took a hot plate back there. And I plugged the hot plate in, and, of course, the power went out. <laughs> and Mikey, uh, in, in, all, in all of his grand wisdom, he says, you know, I told you, you do a show on Sunday, you made God mad, he kills your power. I don't know how a four year old would come up with that kind of statement. All I could see was Prime's white teeth smiling. <laughs> yeah, that's I can, so like I I can see. He, it. <laughs> he uh he he had some 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 pretty heartfelt songs. 
uh, especially uh, at that point. I remember seeing him back in the middle seventies at a place called Poets Corner over on Madison Avenue. I don't, I don't know what what's in that building now, but uh, it, it wasn't the first Poets Corner. But uh, him and Jerry Jeff Walker used to play there with Keith Sykes on a semi-regular basis. And uh, I was, I, I want to say that, that that either Jerry Jeff or John Prime or maybe both of them got arrested that night sleeping in their car drunk. I could, I could, hundred percent see it. So, something crazy like that. I remember seeing that the, 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 the headlines of the press seminar. We used to have two newspapers at that time, and my father, uh, in his barbershop, used to carry both papers. And, and I'm like, how was that that freaking show? <laughs> Wait, was this like front page news, or was this, you know, just just run of the bill in the middle of the paper? I was the front page of the, of, of, of the local news. Okay, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Singer songwriter front page, uh, front page. Oh, news. come on, man! Look, look we're, <laughs> we live in a, a, a city that, that that even now don't even really have a newspaper. We've never That's had true. a newspaper here. Commercial pill, piece of crap. <laughs> and you know what? I, 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 I'm I'm a proven fact that you have some very soft stories written in that newspaper. Oh yeah, about people. Oh, absolutely. I even had one written about me. Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting on the investigation. What was that, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? It's oh, been, my God. It's I'm, been over yeah. a decade. Yeah, it's been yeah, a little while. Yeah, well, guy wrote the story, called me up for rehab, you know, part of his 12-step program, apologizing to me. But uh, that's another story. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's another world. But uh, I didn't mean to get off the, the track oh, no, it's there. All but, good. Uh, John, John Prine, it's a, it's, a, it's a great loss. I, I thought he was older than 73. I didn't realize he was even. He was that that uh, that young. Well, he had, he lived a long and full life, and I think he fit more into his seventy three years than uh, than anybody else could have. You know, he he well, just he did so much, and he was around so many interesting people. Uh, he had a real resurgence um, in the past, I guess, five to seven years, uh, thanks to Casey Musgraves and uh, Jason Isbell, and you know all of these guys that have come up that kind of learned songwriting under him you know i i went and oh, with my zach God. Myers, you, you, uh, you you can you can talk yeah. about people like todd snyder who 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 used to, used to tour with him paul thorne has toured with john yeah. prine uh keith sykes has toured with 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 john prine uh there, there's and, and, and there's so many regional musicians that learned their trade and their, and their craft from watching him oh yeah and, and it's pretty last and, night and, was, and, it's such a it's so enjoyable to just listen to his songs because they are so real and he doesn't hide anything um oh but to see his live show it's it's uh it's something else there's there's, there's, there's there's nothing like it i mean you know i've seen frank jr i've seen tony bennett a dozen times uh and, and all those are top five up there with john prime oh i could believe it i could believe it Let's. Uh, I just say it's, it's a great loss. It's a great loss. It most certainly is. Let Let's jump off of that. Let's. I want to. I want to talk a little sports. Obviously, we are a sports.